Hi everybody, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. I don't know if you all remember this painting. I did a video on this painting and uh, I sold it to a lady. She brought it back to me and said she wants two more, but exactly like it, but in different colors. So wish me luck, cross my fingers and my toes because you know how resin has a mind of its own. Um, going to do two more just like it i'm going to carry the red into each one but use different colors okay up close if you haven't seen this video this is pretty awesome some people say it looks like orange slices some people say it looks like jellyfish so whatever flowers whatever i am using art resin it is a mixture of one part resin to one part hardener and i am using the color cottage mica pigment so in this video, I will be using Strawberry Bliss, Cranberry Shimmer, Blushing Pink, and White. I did uh, spray paint this with red spray paint. You guys can do house paint. You can do, uh, use acrylic paint. You can use whatever you want. Two foot by two foot board. It's MDF board. It's a half inch. And that's what I'm using that I spray painted red any red. All right, so I'm gonna start mixing these up and I'll get back. <gasps> it's okay. I'm just gonna start pouring like I said and just put some colors on the board because it's gonna be my background. It doesn't have to be, I mean, I'm just throwing colors on there. Any color I got, that's what's going on there. Then I'll make the flowers out of the rest of the color that I have left. So this can basically be drizzled on, poured on, whatever you want to do. I'm definitely not going to put that bronze on the background. I want a little brighter color in the background, just a little here and there, not nothing. So every now and then just have a little bit of brightness, you know. Okay. So I'm going to heat this up, move it around. And it'd be cool if the red shines through. I like that red. So I think I'm gonna do orange, yellow, and white. It's my first one with a little bit of a hint of red to red, magenta, white, and a little bit of purple. I think. I, I, I think that's what I'm doing. Who knows? I always just say I'm gonna do something and end up something else. So with resin, you really can't say, okay, this is what it's gonna be, because that's not how it usually turns out. I'm only going to do a couple that have yellow in them because I don't want to make them look exactly like the other board. And I'm just going to start pouring these colors in. No particular order. You know what? I should bring that board in front of me so I see what the hell I did. I think I made every flower a little bit different, which I definitely did. Okay, so I'm just pouring them on, like I said, in no particular order. Whatever color you're feeling, do it. A really pretty color. See, this is too streaky, so we gotta get rid of some of these streaks somehow, some way. Strawberry Bliss is pretty. I think they're all pretty. I love these colors. And you know, I'm gonna tell you what, I've had a lot of people ask me, why do you like the Color Cottage so much? I'll tell you why. When this stuff cures, 
it cures very solid and shimmery and bright. I've worked with a lot of micas and a lot of them tend to dull out when they cure. Well, this doesn't, and that's why I like this. So that's just my opinion. I love this stuff and that's the reason why. I should have made a little bit more strawberry bliss. You know. Okay, now I'm just smearing this color around and around and around because I want these colors not streaky in the background. So I'm just kind of smearing them on, doing my thing. Doesn't matter what color you use either, just do it. Just smear it on there. It's all gonna blend together anyway. So I'm going to try to do the background first. I noticed that the background is going to flow into the other flowers. I'm trying to pull the colors from underneath to the top. It's pretty, but it's a little bit too pink, I think. Okay, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of orange in here just because, like I said, I need the, those colors to come through to each painting. I don't know what happened here. These flowers just ain't as pretty. I don't know what I did. 
should have watched my video before I did it. <laughs> before I did it, because I don't remember. Okay, I don't want to go off. That looks better. That looks way better. Gives it a little bit more life. Now I'm getting really close with the blow dryer, like super close and pulling back. And that's what creates the waves. And that's what gives us that flower effect. I'm gonna unplug this because like, apparently I resin that shut too. Oh my god. Give me a resin. I swear, just give me a little bit of resin and I'll have everything resined up. <laughs> I swear. Full spot. So I'm gonna pour some colors. I'm not gonna make a big flower, something little. Colors coming. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, it should be good. Okay, so I'm finished with the painting and here it is. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. You can ring that little bell to get notifications on my next video. Mm -hmm. Everything I used in all my videos is listed below. All you do is click on the little triangle on the upper right hand side underneath my video. That pulls down the Amazon and you can go shopping for all your supplies. Have a great day everybody. Duke, Duke, come on, they're not going to think you're real. Come on, get up. They're going to think you're a stuffed animal. Come on.